Hello, Mrs Marlowe here. Do you ever lose things? I do. I hate losing things because it seems the harder I look for them, the more they stay hidden. This is a poem by Michael Rosen called Losing Things. I hate losing things. So I think, what if there is a place somewhere where everything you ever lost goes? Somehow or another, all those things you ever lost found their way there to this place. Maybe there's a huge hall somewhere with hundreds and hundreds of doors and one of the doors has got your name on it. I see myself going to this huge hall one day. The way in is not very big, but once you get inside, it's enormous. It's cold and damp and dark and there are thousands of people there and they're all looking for the door that belongs to them, the door with their name on it. Everyone is asking everyone else, have you seen my door? What's your name? And people are saying things like, I think I saw it over there, or don't bother me, I'm looking for mine. So I begin to look and I walk about and I ask someone, have you seen my door? I think it's over there, she says. So I go over there, but it isn't. So I go on wandering round the big hall. I ask someone, have you seen my door? And someone says, up the spiral stair. It's on the second floor. On the way there, someone stops me and says, have you seen my door? And I say, no, I haven't. I climb up the spiral stair onto the second floor, but my door isn't there either. So I go on wandering around the big hall and someone comes up to me and says, have you seen my door? Have you seen mine, I say? It's at the end by the steel doors. And it is. It's my door. It's got my name on it. I knock on the door. Who's there? Me. We were expecting you. The bolts draw back. The doors open. And two old people let me in and shut the door behind me. It's all here, one of them says. It's all here, the other one says. And they're right. There's my pen knife from Switzerland I lost when I was about 12. The old watch I lost in my car accident. My blue anorak with the hood that I left on a railway station in Paris. My round gold sunglasses that I once wore in a play to make me look blind. The football that was a birthday present that I lost on the same day I got it over a wall in the burnt out church. They're all here. A black, white and green towel, a Moroccan leather wallet. They're all here, says one of the old people. They're all here, says the other. Have you got a bag to take them away in, says one. Here's a bag to take them away in, says the other. So I fill up the bag with all the things I've ever lost until all the shelves are empty. Come back and see us any time, says one. Come back and see us, says the other. You know where we are now, don't you, says one. You know where we are, says the other. But you're taking my name off the door, I say. Why are you taking my name off the door? Well, because you know where we are now, don't you, says one. You know where we are, says the other. And they shut the door. I hear the locks and bolts on the door and I walk away into the crowd in the huge hall and everyone is still walking around and asking everyone else, do you know where my door is? A tall man with a steering wheel in his hand says to me, you seen my door have you? No, I say, no, no I don't expect you have, he says. I look round to see if I can remember where my door was and it's out of sight. Too many people are in the way. So I say to myself, one day I'll try and find my way back there. But something tells me, some little voice in my head says, I bet you'll never ever find that door again. You only had the one chance you'll ever have. So I make my way out of that huge dark hall with the thousands and thousands of people and the thousands and thousands of doors and I hurry home with my bag and I get back to my room and I spread it all out on the floor. All those things that I had lost, I've now got back again. And that makes me very happy.